We've been talking about this for quite some time. Actually, we talked about it when it was first announced that there would be a march. At first, it was referred to as a million Muslim march. Um, it's uh, being organized uh, by um, a, a group uh, known as AMPAC, American Muslim Political Action Committee. And joining us now is the group's executive director, Issa Hodge. Hello, Issa. How are you? I'm good, Steve. Thanks for letting me uh, come on your show here. Well, it's my pleasure. Uh, I, I guess the first question is, um, why have any march at all on 9-11 unless it's a march to honor the victims of 9-11? Well, well, I'm glad you asked that question. We actually are honoring the, the, the beginning, and, and it's, it's refreshing to have somebody actually ask that question because most times people don't even bother to ask the question. But actually, the beginning of it is a memorial. We are memorializing. We have people of different faiths that will be uh, saying a prayer for the victims of 9-11 as well as the families. And also we have a, a moment of silence before we get into the rally aspect portion of it. Yeah, all right. But, but, but the, the, uh, the, the march isn't about that. I mean, when, when the description of the march originally came out, it talked about uh, how the U.S. government has uh, made things worse for Muslims in this country and how much Muslims are suffering in this country and how uh, the, the lie has been told about 9-11. Uh, I see that uh, on your speaker list, I noticed there's a, I was told that there's a bunch of uh, so-called truthers um, who believe <laughs> that the CIA or George Bush or Dick Cheney uh, blew up the build, took, took, Molman, took, took yeah. the buildings down. So, so yeah, why, yeah. why this disrespect, especially on 9-11? Why not hold this march any other day of the year except okay. for 9-11? All right. Well, I can tell you why, because uh, the fact is that this is not the first attempt. In fact, this is the third attempt to have a march in Washington, D.C. Uh, the last time was in June of 2011, and that was met with the same rhetoric that we've been dealing with since September. And then the time before that was in October of 2009, trying to be organized by Muslims, and it was met with the same rhetoric. So basically I ask everybody the same question. What day is it okay for us as Muslim Americans to exercise our freedom of assembly and freedom of speech? Well, wait a minute. Wait, wait, what do you mean it was met with the question. same? So you were did, you were did not you did not have the marches then because people spoke out against it is that what you're saying? Well, in the one from June of 2011, that one there was uh, the same amount of rhetoric about how Muslims don't have rights in this country because Muslims are the one that are responsible for 9/11 and they should be just happy that we don't kick them out of the country. Well, and, I don't know. Well, you I don't know what you're talking about. Well, well, you're confusing me though. I asked you I'm why you're having it on 9/11 and you said. You gave me two other dates no. and said it was the same rhetoric, and I'm asking you, you why didn't you have asked. it on those dates? Did you have it on those dates? You asked me why don't we have it on a different right. date and I, and you, So did and you? I answered your question. I answered your question because there's been two other times that a march has been uh, attempted to be organized, okay? So and I was giving you an example. So what? But I mean, what, what stopped you? you? What stopped you? Rhetoric stopped well, you from there, having the march? I don't, I'm just asking no, no, no. a simple no, question. No, no, no. Not just rhetoric. Uh, rhetoric didn't just stop it. Uh, you know, lack of permit for them. I, I was actually not involved in any of these. These are just uh, from other Muslim organizers around the country that have tried to do it. Um, Code Pink, for example, tried to do the one in 2011 and was denied the permit because of the amount of uh, letters and things like that that was sent to uh, legislators. You know, you know, and the, the, the point is, is that we're doing this as a memorial. We're doing this as Muslims standing up to show that we're against terrorism, that we're speaking out against it. But at the same time, we're also against the fear mongering that continues to almost 12 years tomorrow since that day that has turned Muslim, the word Muslim, synonymous with terrorist. That is a part of it, yes. Well, well, and well, 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 uh, uh, excuse me, but, you know, uh, who, who are the ones that blew up the Trade Center? Was it not Muslim uh, uh, terrorists? No. No, no it wasn't. Who was it? No. Um, well, I'll tell you what, uh, I would assume, like, you might be a Christian or a Catholic or some other faith like that, whatever your faith is, but... I'm sure if it's one of the main ones, homosexuality is wrong for you. So All right. I, I'm asking you who blew up the towers. No, no, no. I'm asking you who blew up the towers. Don't tell me about homosexuality. Who blew up the towers? 19 individual people 
who were of Arab descent, but they're not Muslim because Muslims don't snort cocaine. Muslims don't drink alcohol. Muslims don't eat pork. They don't go to strip clubs or porno shops. And that's what these 19 men with... Well, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait. Now you're making a generalization yourself. You're saying, so you're saying, wait a minute. So now you're saying, wait, let's have a conversation. So now you're saying that... Any anybody who calls themselves a, a self a, a self a Muslim and mm-hmm. and and watches porn, uh, 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 you know what? Osama bin Laden watched porn on his computer. Uh, he had a whole collection. Well, there you go. Then. So he wasn't a Muslim. Anybody he wasn't a Muslim. a Muslim. Is that what you're saying? Osama bin Laden was not a Muslim. Anybody. Is that what you're saying? I'm answering your question. Yes. Anybody who partakes in those types of things are not Muslim. And you know what? That and you know you. But you're making your, your generalization. Is, ma- is making is, is allowing them to make the same argument by saying we interpret what we see in the Quran to kill the infidel, and any Muslim who doesn't kill the infidel is not a Muslim. Don't you see? You're doing exactly no, what no, they do. Because they no see because they do the same thing that that uh, uh, a lot of these uh, right wing. Uh, here we go back to the right wing nutjobs. What what, what right wing nutjobs? Who are we talking well, about? We're talking about. Oh, I mean, I was just on uh, Judge Jeannie Piero's show. Yeah. That's one for you. Yeah. How about Sean Hannity? Wait, 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 wait. Judge Jeanine Pirro. Sean... Wait a minute, wait. Judge Jeanine <laughs> Pirro is a right wing nut job. That's what you're saying? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, and 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 so yeah, how are you comparing these so-called right wing nut jobs to the Muslim terrorists who kill people? I'm not no, sure. No, they're, they're both the same. What are you talking they're about? They're both anybody, the same. Uh, that you know, I, I'm anybody, so you know, I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you, Isa. Anybody. Isa, what? I am, I am so glad that we had this conversation I'm so, because you are not interested in, in honoring the victims of Islamic terror. You are interested no, in putting forth a Islamic false terrorism. notion. You equate. It's not Islamic terrorism. No, really. It's an oxymoron. Really. Do you not understand that? That the religion of Islam is no different than the religion of Christianity or Judaism or Catholicism. That the taking of life is prohibited with the exception of self-defense and or in, 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 uh, injustice, and in, uh, such as a punishment, like we do here with capital punishment. Then, then you how come? Then how take come? The religion of Islam, uh, and you want to paint it with a brush because of 19 people or 19 really? I, 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 total attacks out of 1.6 billion Muslims in the world. All right, wow. I, we're talking to Issa Hodge. He's the chief uh, of, uh, he's the executive director for the group uh, um, the AMPAC, American Muslim Political Action Committee, holding a, a march in Washington uh, on 9/11. And um, and and it's funny because you would say it's just 19 people. Maybe you haven't noticed. Maybe you haven't noticed the acts of terror that go on in the name of the Quran. Maybe you haven't noticed the reaction to this so-called slandering of the Prophet Muhammad in a cartoon or in a movie. Maybe you haven't noticed. The, maybe you haven't noticed Afghanistan Afghanistan the Christians, the Christians who are yeah. slaughtered every day by in, radical in Muslims yeah. in the Middle yeah. East and Africa. Yeah. Maybe what you haven't about, noticed hey, any of that. About, what about the drone strikes that have been slaughtering, what, 5,800 civilians? In, all right, in, all right. In, I, I, in, yeah, in you know what, I, Issa, I can tell we're not getting, we're not going to get anywhere. We're not going to get anywhere, but thank you for revealing who you are and what you believe. And now we know exactly, or I believe I know exactly, why you had this so-called March on yeah. 9-11 to spit in the faces okay. of America. That's what yeah. I believe, sir. And well, I thank you. you thank you for joining us. You're wrong. Well, I don't think I'm wrong. I know you're wrong. If you tell me the terrorists, the Islamic terrorists are the same as Janine Pirro, you got screws loose, my friend. Thank you no, for no, the no. call. I'm done. I'm done. All right. There you go, folks. You know, that's, I'm glad you asked that, he said. Why are we having it on 9-11? Is it a memorial? I'm glad you asked that. Yes, the, it, it all started out as a memorial. That's what it is. It's a memorial. But it, it, ter- uh, Islamists didn't do this. No, no, no. And Janine Pirro, she's as bad as they are. Yeah, she's a right-wing nut. I mean, give me a break. This kind of logic, it's, uh, it's, it's nuts. It's sick. It's a distortion. It's a distortion. And to, 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 when he says that because they, some of the terrorists on 9-11 went to strip clubs or drank alcohol, they're not Muslims. He's generalizing. He's giving his definition of a Muslim and, and, and requiring people to do what he believes. Just as the terrorists say, anybody who doesn't kill the infidel is not a Muslim. So he's doing exactly what they do in the sense that generalizing or, or, or pigeonholing people and saying, if you don't do this, you're not one of us, to a religion. So it, please, it's, I'm, I'm glad we exposed it, but uh, 
you want to weigh in on it, I'd be glad to talk about it. Uh, 855-777-9660. 9-11 edition of the Steve Malsberg Show on Newsmax TV and